Some people have messaged me asking about how to set up the RP Arcade uh, from scratch, Raspberry to JAMA converter, which I showed in my last video where I converted a JAMA arcade machine to run off of a Raspberry Pi and off of MAME and FBA uh, ROMs. So here, just very quickly, I'm gonna show you me unboxing the RP Arcade as it was delivered to me. Quickly show you how I connected it in my JAMA cabinet. I'll also show you where, uh, when I first put it in, I had to make some adjustments on the monitor ch chassis, um, but it was a very quick 10 second fix. And how I got the RP Arcade working. So, Stay tuned if you're just interested. It's more for a video for anybody who's thinking about buying one of these devices. I definitely highly recommend it. It's been awesome plug and play, as you'll see in the video. So stick around and uh, I'll go through it. So I bought my RP Arcade with 64 gigabyte uh, memory card with ROMs already on there. You can see it's the RP Arcade 3.84. I took it out already and put it into my Raspberry Pi. Also comes with this extra kick harness kit. My arcade machine only has three buttons uh, on each controller, so I don't need to use that. Here's the, the kit inside a nice anti-static bag. It was very snugly fitted inside there, so it was a bit difficult to pull it out. But it was very well packaged. And then you can see the actual board. Very nicely put together, professionally done. Soldering looks good. You know, it doesn't look like somebody's just created this in their basement and then sent it out. It's like a nice, solid product. And there you go, you can even see the four pins here, I'm pointing them out. These are the four pins where you put the Raspberry Pi straight on top, you just screw it in. Very, very simple with a Phillips head screwdriver. So, you can also see there's some dip switches there. That's for, depending on how many buttons if you're using the kick harness or not so you, I don't need to change anything out of the box. So now I've connected my Raspberry Pi very quick and simple literally just those four screws very easy peasy and then I just connect this I think it's the GPO header it's going to transfer the data from the Pi to Jammer into the Raspberry Pi and then the last thing that you need to do is plug in the HDMI from the um, from the converter into the Raspberry Pi and that is literally all you need to do super super easy took me about five minutes if that so we here we are this is inside the bottom of my arcade cabinet so in here you can see I've got this which is the coin collector coin box here's the uh, main switch with if you're interested the number of coins that have gone into here or the number of plays is 57,239 which uh, I'll calculate later on how many how many dollars that is when you multiply that out by 20 cents got the power supply back here you can't see but the monitor chassis is uh, is up at the top there but here you can see the uh, the RPI Cade with the Raspberry Pi and it literally just slots in, connects through there into the jammer board, jammer connector even. Now I don't, uh, I haven't yet thought about maybe putting it against the board or anything here so I just lay it nicely down on the bottom, just make sure it's not touching anything metal to short it out or anything. And there you go, I'll just leave it down at the bottom. So this is what was showing on my CRT when I plugged it in and turned it all on. Just the screen's rolling. All I needed to do was just turn one of those potentiometers for the vertical hold, just turn it slightly, and it just stabilized it. This is a little bit tricky here, handheld with the camera, but this is the monitor chassis. So I'm just gonna put the light down there on the on there on a second. See on the right here all these white potentiometers, these little pots? Those affect the V-hold, horizontal hold, uh, vertical size, horizontal size, and I think the one at the top is the brightness. 
So I'll show you in a minute. That's those are the uh, those are the pots that I had to just quickly twiddle with just to get the image working just perfectly. Very easy. Yeah, nothing to uh, to be frightened out about there. So I hope you thought that was interesting, whether or not you've got an arcade machine or thinking about getting one. If you're interested in more videos, I create content that's around 90s PC hardware, console games, that kind of stuff. If you're interested, if you like that kind of thing, then please subscribe. I'd love to talk to you in the comments, so feel free to put any comments in against any video. And I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.